Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show, episode 886. I'm your host, Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, everyone. What's up, James? Hello, everyone. What's up, Chris? Hey, what's up? What's up, Connor? May the force eternally be with her. All right. Today hit me like a ton of bricks, and I'm sure it pretty much hit everyone. A um, couple days ago, we got word, you know, everybody was beeping and telling me Carrie Fisher had a heart attack on the plane, right? Yeah. It got really bad, real situation where we heard she was on a ventilator, that she landed, she went to this hospital, she was in bad shape. Then we heard that the brother was saying it wasn't as bad shape. Then she came out of um, the emergency, which is with intensive care, which doesn't mean anything because she could still go back. We didn't really know she had consciousness because nobody even said that. He said she was stable, which meant really nothing. Um, Because at any time, if you're in intensive care, you're not stable, like whatever. So I was kind of weary because I didn't hear anything about her coming to, but I figured it was going to be all right because everybody was like, okay, stay, whatever. Out of effing nowhere, this shit happened today. It was boom. I forgot who told me first or where I saw it first. I'm trying to think. But when I saw it, I, I just couldn't fucking believe it. Because I'm like, there's no fucking way. So then all of a sudden, I I was about to, I saw something that confirmed it. And I was trying to type it in on Facebook. And then everybody was beeping me at once on my phone. And I couldn't pop it on the thing. Because I, I, when you're on your cell phone, everything pops up. You can't hit the send button. So I was just, I was just in shock. And I'm like, she's 60 years old, okay? I lost my dad when he was 62, right? I lost my mom. Like young too, and I just can't for life. I was just like, I don't understand. Like, why? She, she to me, she's a huge part of what I liked. Like my, my thing. I mean, I bought the the Princess Leia figure the other day, right? She is an amazing, amazing actress. That's hardly really been in anything that's bit, that's of her talents other than Star Wars movies. You know, she's she's been a great author. She's been doing so many different things. Animal lover, which I'm an animal lover too. Like she's just an amazing freaking person, okay? And this was like really like I felt like I couldn't breathe. And I'm just gonna get what you guys have to say about it. I'm gonna go with uh, Chris first. I you know I really don't know what else you can say about it. Um, it is unfortunate that you know she passed away so young. Uh, I wasn't really expecting it, like, because uh, after we heard, you know, that she was stable and, and whatnot, um, but you never know when you're that age and, you you know, you have a heart attack like that. It's not, it's not like having it at a younger age where your body can kind of take the shock from it and then the after effects. It just, it doesn't work that way. You know, I, my grandfather passed away this year and he had a very similar kind of experience where he had a major heart attack at first and he survived through that. And then, you know, the next couple of days he had several more heart attacks and he lived for a couple of months and then he just, it, it was too much. And he was, he was almost 80. So, I mean, at that time it's like, you know, yeah, at, your, your body can't take it as much as you can. And, you know, to be honest, she, she didn't actually have the healthiest life that someone could have. So it, it doesn't surprise me that her body wasn't able to handle it. Um, but you know, if, uh, it was her time. It's her time, you know. It's all you can say. Um, Connor? Um, I didn't want to bring it up on the cast that we did about her having uh, the night that she had the heart attack, but um, I am friends with... I, I have a family friend that's a nurse that I've just spent Christmas with, and she told me that because of the length of time that Carrie not breathing it was highly likely that he would not survive that in my mind sort of helped me to process that you know she she might die um then another person that i know that's a nurse reconfirmed that so again it was the same thing but today when I heard the news, 
something that can only be described as a strange sense of numbness, but really overpowering anger just hit me because you suddenly realize how can fate be so cruel to take away an inspiration like Carrie Fisher, who played arguably one of the most inspirational characters of the silver screen at such an age as 60 years old. She was only 19 when she first appeared as Princess Leia. And she's become, as a 19-year-old, she became something big. And ever since she has, uh, there, there was a quote, I think she said, after the, after the Force Awakens came out, is that when the Force Awakens came out, she didn't realise until then how loved she still was. And I'm sort of glad. Uh, there's a, there's a, a few reviewers that I, uh, that I uh, watch on uh, YouTube that have seen some tribute videos. And an interesting point was brought up in one of them. And I sort of feel the same. I'm glad she lived to be in The Force Awakens to realise that. Because, as you said, she hasn't been in an awful lot apart from Star Wars that is of any interest to the fan base, possibly. But to know that she realised she was still loved was the most important thing of all because she felt appreciated. And I'm happy that that is the case. Um, but just, I'm, I'm totally numb. I can't, I don't think I'll ever truly feel the absolute limit of sadness and despair that I can at this because Star Wars was a huge, 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 huge part of my childhood. Yeah. It was <clears throat> probably 95% of my childhood. And yep. it, more so than Doctor Who. And it just, to, to know that the, a major player in that franchise, the, the, arguably apart from Darth Vader, the first face we see, um, the first character that we come to sort of love, is gone. And she, we'll, we'll never see her again. She was on a British talk show here three weeks ago. She looked perfectly fine. She was talking about the Harrison Ford thing. And now she's dead. I know. And I know he feels like crap too. I mean... He's in total... Just like, Mark Hamill is just... Yeah, mm, it's... It's, 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 it's not bad thinking about. Um, he's not, I mean... Yeah. Uh, Carrie Fisher not only inspired the 1977 generation, she's continued with the several generations afterwards and she will forever be an inspiration because I'm sure that everyone that is a geek will show Star Wars to their kids and Princess Leia will become, oh God, I'm starting to cry now, yeah. will become a, an icon for everyone. And Scott. Yeah, yeah, I know. Scott. I have to agree with Connor. She's such an iconic character. And when you think back upon it, you really can't think of anything other than Star Wars than she was in. And because I was sitting in one of my... She wrote books. I mean, Postcards yeah. from the Edge. and She's yeah. known from... And Debbie Reynolds is a mom. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's even... Her mom outliving her. I got a oh. mom going through that's just oh my god I don't even know. No, I was sitting in one of my favorite restaurants when you when you text me saying that and it's like yeah, uh, I saw that you didn't know about it. I'm like oh he don't even yeah, you were doing yeah. your. I'm Facebook sitting there and thinking, do I really want to tell everybody in this restaurant at lunchtime that a, mm -hmm. a kind of character passed away and I just no. I couldn't I I kept my mouth shut and I just kept eating and then uh, then my sister posted something on Facebook uh, she mentioned her and, and two other characters. And she pretty much made the comment, uh, "Enough's enough. Let's not take anybody this else." Is, I mean, I I was just staring at the. I, saw I, that. Like, I said, "Well, her and uh, one other person. That's two, and I'd forgotten about the third person already." I was just like in space, like I was just staring, and I was just I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it, James. Well, uh, it's kind of like I lost my childhood. You know, you know? Yep. watching these characters wrote up. Like 
I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm just speechless right now. First, we lost. We all grew up with all the entertainers, Michael Jackson, Prince. Now we lost George Michael. Now we're losing her. Florence and, Henderson. You know, we lost her from Brady Bunch. I mean, was it Jaja ja Gabor? Yeah. I used to, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Lord, like uh, my child is just dissipating. This we just a lot of celebrities died this year. Um, and at the beginning of the year, it was like it, you you couldn't switch on the TV without hearing Alan this Thick. person Alan Payton, and I mean, he person passed away, and that annoying. This is, all right, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. You yeah. affected everybody's life, really. I mean, uh, you will definitely be missed. Um, and I think we can all uh, agree on this little ta- uh, little standpoint. Carrie Fisher, may the force be with you. Always. May the force be with you. Always. Yeah.